In this video on uses of radiation, we're going to be looking at smoke alarms. Now, smoke alarms contain a alpha source of radiation, and they sound an alarm when that radiation is disrupted. The type of radiation is alpha particles, which are released from americium-241. Now, they release alpha particles, which will ionize the air to give electrons which allow an electrical circuit to be set up within the smoke alarm. Now because the air is constantly being ionized it allows a flow of electrons which produces a very small current within the smoke alarm. So how it works is you have a battery in here with a detector and a siren that sounds the alarm. Now in between the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here you have air that flows through. Now in here you have an alpha source. Now what the alpha source will do is it will ionize the air to allow the electrons to move around in this circuit. Now as soon as we get any smoke coming in it will ionize or the alpha will ionize the smoke rather than the air and that will mean that the circuit is broken and an alarm will sound. Now in terms of risk, because the smoke alarm is an alpha source, the alpha will be um, stopped by a few centimetres of air. So even with the plastic container surrounding it, none of the alpha particles will be able to escape because they're ionised within the air, within the actual smoke detector itself.